What up friends? Welcome to the kitchen. I tried something a week ago and it was absolutely delicious and I thought I would share it. Um, I made cauliflower rice. Wife and I try and uh, not eat too many carbs whenever we don't have to. And you know, you hear all the talk about cauliflower rice. I've had it before, I've had it at restaurants. Um, but I thought, well, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll give it a try. So, um, so I did. So it's very easy. I highly recommend it. Um, it's delicious. And I'll fry it up a little later and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll go over that. But so what do you do? Get yourself a head of cauliflower, cut out the core, clean it. And what, what, what I recommend is, and what the recipe recommended was trim the cauliflower as close to the head as you can. So if you see, I trimmed off that. So like this piece right here, I'm going to trim that off. Now I keep a little pile over here to the left because I then also put those in the food processor by themselves and I feed it to the dogs. Um, and they seem to like it scattered over top of their food. So how does it work? Well, you get all your cauliflower trimmed. Try and group it. You want to run about one head of cauliflower. You want to run about three groups through your food processor. So I kind of group my cauliflower on my uh, cookie sheet or uh, I'm sorry, on my cutting board. And it's very simple. So I'm going to take these big ones first and run them through the bigger heads. And I want to get about three. So put them in. Now, I use the pulse to chop option, and I hit it about 10 or 12 times. And what, the way you want to get it, you want to get it about the size of, I don't know, about the size of couscous. But that's what it looks like after you chop it. Um, You'll want to take it and just put it into a bowl. I'm saving mine for dinner tonight, so I thought I'd get this part of it done early. And I just keep building on top of each other. Probably one of the easiest recipes I've done in a long time. Going with my second group. Twelve choppers. Do eleven on that. So in a matter of, I don't know, four minutes, no better after I see the video, of course, in a matter of four minutes, you have the whole head of cauliflower chop. And you know, how many times you pulse it is entirely up to you. Everything I said, again, said about the size of couscous. If you don't know what size of couscous is, well, make it look like rice. That might help. So when you're finished, basically, you have a bowl of rice, cauliflower rice like this. I'm going to store it in the refrigerator until dinner tonight. So let's review. Take a head of cauliflower, core it, chop, uh, put, chop it into pieces, Make sure you get the stem uh, off the bottom of the cauliflower piece. Cut as close to the cauliflower piece as you can on each individual cauliflower piece. Set the stems aside if you want for your animals. And then try and group your pieces of cauliflower in three groups, small, medium, large. And, and run each group through the food processor, I don't know, 10 to 12 pulses or until you think you got it where you want. Put it in a bowl and then you can put that bowl in the refrigerator and save it for dinner or you can go right to dinner how, however you want to proceed. What I'm going to do with that um, cauliflower rice tonight is I'm going to make a little fried rice. I had a London broil last night and I'm going to chop that up with some other stuff and make myself a little stir-fry fried cauliflower rice. So come along for the ride.
All right, we got a hot pan. Let's hit it with a little bit of avocado oil. You can use whatever oil you got. I use avocado oil because my friend Meredith says it's good for you. I'm gonna sweat some green peppers. I have chopped up some green peppers and some onions and some cabbage. I had cabbage steaks last night, which were delicious. If you've never tried that, I recommend it. Slice cabbages, slice a cabbage and put it on a baking sheet and put some olive oil or whatever kind of oil you want on it. I, I put a little harissa oil and olive oil on it and uh, put it in the oven on a baking sheet and made the little cabbage steaks and they were delicious. So I'm gonna get these green peppers sweat, sweated down. Then I'm gonna add some onions. And then at the very end, I'll add some, some cabbage because the cabbage is already cooked. Cauliflower rice, if you're just doing cauliflower rice, eight minutes with some oil under a pretty good flame. That's what I like to do. Or that's what I did the other night and it worked, worked great. Okay, four minutes on those peppers. They've been in four minutes. They're sweated down pretty good. Now I'm gonna throw my onions in there. And while these onions are sweating down, I'm gonna grab the London Royal out of the refrigerator and chop some nice slabs of meat off of it. Get it ready for my cake fried rice. All right, another four minutes on my onions. Looking good, everything's getting a little brown in here. Now, I'm gonna add my cauliflower rice. Now, this is where you can start the clock on the cauliflower rice. Eight minutes. I'm also gonna throw this cabbage in here because I can. And after three or four, maybe five minutes, I'll throw my meat in there and I'll be eating soon enough. Now, cauliflower, like rice, has no natural oils. So at some point, you're gonna to need to add oil, which for me is right now. I'm just gonna splash the top. That should do it. Crank up the heat. Alexa, set a timer for eight minutes. I'm running this really hot. That's why I put the oil in there. A lot of rice in that pan. About every minute, if not, if not sooner, you want to, you know, work this rice a little bit. You can't just let it sit there. And when you scrape and lift, if you don't see at least a little oil on the bottom of the pan, then you need to add a little oil. And I don't mean oil laying, I just mean evidence of oil. All right, we're four minutes in. Everything looks pretty good. Four minutes into the cauliflower rice being put in the pan. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off with some beautiful London broil that I made last night. You could use chicken, you could use sausage, you could use pork, you can use whatever your heart desires. A steak, leftover T-bone. Buy you some Angus meatballs, cut them up, put them in there. Now I'm going with some soy sauce. This is low sodium soy sauce, some pepper,
You could buy a rotisserie chicken, take all the meat off of it. That's what I do sometimes. I take all the meat off the rotisserie chicken. I make chicken salad. It's good in a stir fry. Oh baby, that is shaping up perfectly. All right, I have finished out the better part of my four minutes. I say it's done. Time to plate. And Alexa says it's done too. Cauliflower rice made into fried rice. Give it a shot. Hey, subscribe and like the video. I'd certainly appreciate it. I heard Deer Meat for Dinners at 3 million subscribers. I am just about getting close to 50 and I'm nipping at his heels. So hit that subscribe button for me. Appreciate it. Have a great night. Take care.